polymorphism is a characteristic of this idea of abstraction that was kind of implicit in that example. Polymorphism is the ability to ask the same questions, or in software, run the same code, on a wide variety of different types of concepts. In the previous example, we would likely say that chairs, tables, and beds are three different objects, and yet we can ask certain questions across all of them, like their price or their material. We can imagine a method that returns a material, and we can imagine that method being applicable to any kind of furniture. Then we can imagine iterating over a catalog of furniture and asking, for each item, what material is this? Even though the data are different types of furniture, that one single question still makes sense. One of the most common places this happens in software is what's often called a two-string method. When we're designing classes, one very common desire is to be able to print the object. What it means to print the object, though, is very different from class to class. To print a person object, we might want to print the name, but to print a bank account object, we might want to print an account number. The general idea, printing an object, is the same across both. Polymorphism describes the ability to write a method in each class that would allow drastically dissimilar objects to be accessed and used in the same way.